Hi, it's Mama D. Welcome back to my channel, Mama D Reacts. And tonight is the season finale of season one of Big Little Lies. It's episode seven called Get What You Need. So hopefully we're going to find out who got murdered. And I sure hope it's Celeste's husband because he is a prick. Let's put it that way. Um, so we know that uh, Celeste has gotten an apartment. She's planning on hopefully leaving him before he hurts her seriously. And then uh, Madeline um, is struggling with having that affair and whether she's going to tell her husband or not. Uh, she told her daughter. So that could pose some problems. Um, and then um, we've got um, Laura Dern's character. I can never remember her name. She's kind of made up with Jane. And um, I don't think Ziggy did it, but I don't have a clue who did. And then um, Bonnie and her husband. Bonnie seems like a really nice person. So let's get into this season finale and find out who got murdered. It sounds like she's, uh-huh, I was just going to say. He's beating the crap out of her, strangled her. And you don't think those kids hear that? Please. Well, you're fine. Hey. You just got the wind knocked out of you. I wonder why. Chloe, there's a zero tolerance policy on tardiness, young lady. Let's go. Morning, woman. Get your butt over here. Well, she still has your She's still stopped calling me sign. woman. Abigail, there's no sign of a launch on her Facebook page. So you're Facebook stalking her after you got up on your Clydesdale about it? What exactly did you say to her anyway? Common sense. I said live right or go straight to hell. Are you having a period? <laughs> Get in the car. Are you? Are you, are you having are you a period? Are trying to be funny? I'm trying to be serious. What is going on with you? I have to get her to school. But I'm not going to tell you I've been cheating on you. Who was that? Sure, it was Tori. Did she drive a gray Saturn? She was just driving slowly by your house. Clearly, she knows about us, Joseph. First of all, she flat out accuses me, and now she's going on Glenn Close. She suspects she doesn't know. I did a good job of denying it. Not that my capacity for denial would be a fraction of yours. Go on, busy. The thing about you, Madeline, is the that. Thing about Let me finish! Central to your core is your grossly, if not artificially inflated, sense of moral integrity. For you to be fucking me for three months like a mad How hyena and he could only like mean that. that, yes, not only were you in love with me, you had the best sex of your life. You've gone so far in the direction of wrong. Oh, yeah, then why are you here? You could call me. Are you going to fuck me again? Let's do it. It's all in the building, on the couch. Come on, me and you. Why do you think you own this town? Because you have money? You're self Bitch, just get the fuck out of my office! <coughs> Party tonight. Please, just... I got the apartment. Are you in it? Is the refrigerator stopped? You gonna leave him? He's going away in the morning, so... You just have to go to this school camera tonight, oh. and then... Right. <laughs> kill you, but God forbid you miss a party. You know, your husband is ill, Celeste, but so are you. Mm-hmm. Seriously. 
there are children in the house. I told you they did not hurt. God. Not physically, but they've seen, they've heard. It's all right, I'm fine. Kids were told not to play with you, because I would certainly understand that. Friends play with me. Josh, Chloe, Sky, and Bella. And Bella Klein plays with me. Yeah, or friends like Star Wars too. It's not me and Hearts are Well, who no, is it? Do you know who it is? Tell me who it is. I promise. Look, sometimes it is important to keep promises, but other times... No, I promise. Who did you promise? Promised out, bro. You've known all of this time and you've just been taken to blame? I don't just so know. Who is it? She said if I told her, she might get killed dead. Oh my god. Okay. You promised her you wouldn't say anything, right? But you can still point. That's right. right? I won't be saying anything. And I promise you, Amabella will not get killed dead. Who is it? Ziggy, look at me. Amabella's been a really good friend to you, right? It's our turn to be a good friend to her. It's not fair that she keeps getting hurt. We have to protect her. Right. right? Ziggy, point to who it is. No way! I don't know what to do. Well, you have to tell Celeste. She's going to want to hear it directly from you. Oh, is always my God. Best policy. That's what I mean. I mean, I knew that it was roughhouse a lot, but I didn't know they were bullies. It was only maps. It was very clear about that. Are you so relieved about sick? Yeah. Right, sorry to go off time, Madeline. Jane Gordon Klein. Yeah. We're not as husband. We met in the school. Yeah, of course. I'm wondering if we might have a proper conversation just for a second. Sure. Yeah. Well, I'm feeling a little excluded. <laughs> We're in the middle of a conversation. Okay. <laughs> no, that's good. You need to hear this. It's a two you seem to be making quite the little team. <sighs> Look, Jane, whether or not Ziggy is the one who's been hurting Amabella, you're the one. Actually, who, there's. You're the one who attacked my wife. Now, please. Understand that if you ever go near Renata again, I'll be taking a restraining order. All right, all right, Gordon, that's that. enough. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Tom, me. Tom, we're just talking. Everything no, is fine. no, everything's not fine. I can't have you in here harassing my customers. Now, I'm asking you politely, please. I don't think you have please the right. Please go. I don't think you have the right to remove me from the I'm not interested in your legal advice. Just go, Gordon. <laughs> just remember what I said, okay? Madeline. Look, I'm sure I'll see you some other time, just not today, okay? You just lost yourself a lot of customers, my friend. Unbelievable. I'm so sorry. That was really impressive. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm off to transform myself into my fair lady. Close the last, okay? I will. Bye, Thank Tom. You. Bye. You know, uh, I've actually been trying to figure out a way to impress you for a while now. I just... I haven't had my chance. You're straight? <laughs> what? <laughs> she thought he was gay. How was your day, baby cakes? Well, TGIF. Ugh, oh, you're telling me. It's either starting fights today or joining in. Hey, Maddie. Hey. You ready for a trivia night tonight? You're coming up soon? Yeah, I'll be the one dressed as Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> Funny. Listen, um... You went to see a counselor. Yeah. He thinks that this is the kind of, um, scream for attention. Divorce <laughs> messes kids up pretty good. Oh, so splitting up can negatively affect the kids? 
should have known that before I walked out. Ooh. Did I? Why do you gotta turn everything into a fucking fight? She won't have to move if uh, he's the one that dies. Ooh. He's such an ass. Yeah, I've been there, sister. It's not easy. But you gotta do it if you wanna be safe. Ziggy told me this morning that apparently it was Max who choked him with valid orientation. And apparently it's been him who's been bullying her all along. What? Yeah. Annabella told Ziggy but made him promise not to tell because Max threatened to hurt her more if it got out. So he's just been keeping a secret. You sure about this? I mean, I definitely considered that he could be lying just to protect himself. And I have to face the fact that violence could be in his DNA, given his status. <laughs> and his, too. I think he's telling the truth. He said also that Max pushed Sky down the stairs, um, and that he's been a little aggressive towards her as well. Yep. Like father, like son. I'm so sorry, Sky. <laughs> Now you see how Nicole she's got that scarf around nature. her neck. Take her out of it. Sometimes they don't. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a working mom. I've told you worse, a CEO, which deems me a bit <coughs> You have no idea. If I get shot in the head tonight, <laughs> these moms are going to say she couldn't bother herself. To <sighs> you look really pretty. You. You really do. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm going to survive in these heels all night. Wow. You look so beautiful. Thank you. I got a toothpaste. Election to school events. You think? Hm. Oh, here we go. So did you plan on telling me? I wasn't. Or was I just to discover you gone when I go back from home? Yep, pretty much. The ladder. I told you I would get help. Did you make an appointment? No, nope. but I will. Promise you. Hey, can we... Uh, we talk about it. You're never no. gonna change, you know. That. I am gonna change. No, you're not. I am. I know I have this this madness, these fucking demons in here. But I am I'm I'm fighting them. I'm fighting them. Can you just help me help myself? For the sake. I will do whatever it takes. Yeah, right. I promise you. In sickness and in health. Took a vow. Yeah, to have and to hold, to respect, to cherish. Right. They were our vows. Yeah. And not you smashing have. my head into a wall. Thank you. Not fucking well, you've been hurting me. Too. Yes, I've been violent, but only in reaction to you. I have to leave for them. And you know what do. Are you ready for the big night? Sorry. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> That ought to make her feel guilty. You give me strength to carry on. And you're always there to lend a hand in everything I do. That's the wonder. The wonder of you. Oh, she's gonna feel super guilty. What's happening? She on Ed. What? I cheated on Ed. It was a long time ago, but I I feel like a horrible person. I'm afraid to tell him. I mean I wanna tell him, but I'm afraid I will hurt him so bad. 
I can't do that to him. Oh, God. It's fine. Go on, get on, baby. Baby, go. Baby, I'm all right. Good night. Oh crap. Can I talk to you? Please. Celeste, can I talk to you? No. I'm going back to the car. I'm not coming back with you. Celeste. No. I think she just needs a minute. I, I, I appreciate your concern, but I'm talking to my wife, not you. Celeste, let's, let's just go on. We have to talk about no. it. No! I'm not coming home with you. So just don't do this anymore. No. No. He was the one that raped her? Oh. My. Garage. What? I can see it. I can put it together, but... Whoa. That is a twist I did not expect. Wow. Whoa. Oh my god. She can tell. She can tell. Oh my god. <gasps> no, it is him. Yes. But who pushed him off? Is it him? Yes! Yes! Yay! Finally, somebody gets what they deserve. It's all the same. The husband, when he got violent with the wife, he didn't trip and fall. He was pushed. Alright, so self-defense case then. Thank you. She fought back. He tripped. Involuntary manslaughter. Oh, here we go. It's going to show it. So they're all fighting with him, trying to get him off of her. <gasps> oh, he cold cocked her. Yep. And he's fighting with all of them. <gasps> oh, my God. Kicking her? Oh my God, it was Bonnie. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God. Yeah, too late now, dude. Yeah. You can't always get what you want. But if you try sometime, you might find. Okay, who's watching him? You get what you need. Whoa, that was good. Somebody's watching him with binoculars, so I wonder if that's that police detective or. <laughs> but we found out that Bonnie pushed him over the edge. Yay! So we'll see what happens. I don't know why she just didn't admit that he was beating the hell out of her. I guess she, I don't know why she would be afraid. Um, and why Bonnie didn't say I pushed him off of her and he went backwards too far and fell. I mean, it was a total accident. But we're coming up on season two, which has been playing on HBO. So the next episode will be season two, episode one. All right. Any comments or questions at the bottom, please? And make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell so that you get notifications when there's new uh, episodes of everything I'm reacting to. Alright? Peace out. Peace out. Peace out.